IntelliJ IDEA is designed to help developers like us stay in the flow while we're working. Like all IDEs, it has a lot of functionality available, but it's designed to get out of your way to let you focus on the code. We can close all tool windows while writing code and reopen them as we need them. We can also customize the appearance of IntelliJ IDEA to our personal preference, use the theme we like, and use predefined view modes like Zen mode to really focus on the code or presentation mode when doing a demo. We can also zoom in and out as needed. As you can see, we can use the keyboard to get around. IntelliJ IDEA gives you code completion as you're typing. If it sees that you've typed or selected something that doesn't compile, it will tell you. If you press Alt Enter, it will offer options to fix the problem. You can use F2 to move to the next problem and Shift F2 to go to the previous problem. If you're making changes to the code that lead to problems elsewhere in your code base, IntelliJ IDEA will tell you and you can follow the link to related problems to fix them. This can help you catch bugs early before they become significant problems. When writing new code, we may need classes or methods that don't exist yet. We can write the code as if they do and gradually create what we need. IntelliJ IDEA supports this way of working by highlighting which parts of the code need our attention and offering suggestions where we need them. It can create classes and methods for you, implement interfaces, and so on. In fact, it can automatically generate common code for you. It can suggest appropriate names and find appropriate methods. Suggestions are context sensitive. For example, when we open the generate menu inside a class, it will offer to create common code like getters and setters. When we open the generate menu inside the project tool window, it will offer actions that are relevant here, like creating a new Java class. We can even use it in our build file, where it will offer, for example, to add dependencies. We can focus on the code we are creating because IntelliJ IDEA's live templates can generate common code so we don't have to type it. We can type a short sequence like PSVM or main and have IntelliJ IDEA generate things like the main method. We can even create our own live templates for code snippets we commonly use. We can use code completion and code generation to minimize typing so we can focus on solving the problem at hand. The code suggestions support camel case, so we don't have to type the whole method name or even the exact start of a method name to get relevant code suggestions. IntelliJ IDEA also helps you refactor your code as you write it. When solving a technical problem, you might not always have the best solution in mind right away. We write code and tests and can refactor the code as needed. It lets you rename anything as you code, extract variables, fields, methods, and so on. IntelliJ IDEA is designed to keep us in the flow of coding, so there are ways to keep moving forward when writing code. Postfix completion lets you reorganize your code without having to move your cursor backwards. Code can be reformatted at any time, so you don't have to worry about formatting while you're coding. We can also rearrange code as needed by moving it up or down. It can provide refactoring options that are relevant to what you're doing. We can surround our code with common template code, use smart completion to find suggestions of the correct type, minimizing typing and searching, refactor the code as needed, and improve the quality of the code to make it easier to read and maintain. IntelliJ IDEA helps us with completion and quick fixes when writing code and offers inspections and intentions to reshape the code to make it better while keeping the same behavior. This way, we stay in the flow, writing the code that solves the problem and identifying improvements once it works. Writing and running tests is an important part of developing any feature. With IntelliJ IDEA, we can easily generate test classes for our code. A variety of testing frameworks are supported, including JUnit 5. We can easily navigate between our class and its tests or we can use split windows to look at our class and tests side by side while we're developing our feature. This is very useful when using TDD, test-driven development. IntelliJ IDEA has a powerful and very configurable debugger that is also really easy to use. We can use keyboard shortcuts to debug any problems, and if you've forgotten any of them, you can always use find action to perform the action and see its shortcut. Using the debugger efficiently can help save a lot of time and frustration when figuring out bugs. When we hit the breakpoint, 
we can see the current state of variables, not just in the variables view, but also in the editor. We can evaluate expressions to see their result, making it easier to identify problems and then fix them. We can edit breakpoint properties and set conditional breakpoints. We can even debug streams. We can also run our application from IntelliJ IDEA as we might want to actually use it ourselves to see everything works as expected. We can run the current context that our cursor is in, or we can use run anything. We often spend as much time reading code as we do writing it. IntelliJ IDEA helps us by providing ways to navigate around our code base, for example, by going backwards and forwards between files, finding usages and declarations, finding interfaces and their implementations, viewing recently opened files and locations, or even opening a window by name. In fact, all windows are searchable, so we never need to use the mouse. Other popular ways to search are search everywhere and find in files. IntelliJ IDEA offers additional features to help you understand your code base, like the project window, structure tab, quick documentation, reader mode, and more. IntelliJ IDEA has extensive support for integrating with version control systems, so the whole process of developing, testing, and committing our code is managed from inside the IDE. We can use this opportunity to do any last minute adjustments and checking of the code, like formatting to team style, performing analysis on the changed files, and checking for outstanding to-do comments before committing our code. The version control support also includes visualization of the repository, where we can perform other more complex operations, like merge, rebase, and cherry pick. Yes, we can still use Git from the command line, but we can also use IntelliJ IDEA's excellent Git support. IntelliJ IDEA is the leading Java and Kotlin IDE. It supports a wide range of languages, frameworks, and markup. It supports JVM languages, Java, Kotlin, Ruby and Scala, and JVM frameworks like Spring, Quarkus, Micronaut, and Jakarta EE, as well as non-JVM technologies, several other programming languages, HTML, SQL, and more. And if the support isn't built in, there's often a plugin for it. You can use the power of IntelliJ not just for programming languages, but also in string values. With language injection, we can format and edit strings with a particular syntax. For example, we can edit this JSON string, and string escaping is correctly handled. We can also declare something as an SQL string, and here we can use the full power of IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate's database support. We get code completion for table names, column names, and so on, and help with SQL syntax. IntelliJ IDEA can even help us when using regex. Apart from helping us write and edit code, there are many other features that are important to the development process, like support for build tools, managing dependencies, frameworks, application services, Docker, profiling tools, and more. Integration with build tools makes building projects and managing dependencies really straightforward. IntelliJ IDEA also supports collaborating on code or pair programming using Code With Me, as well as remote development. You can use JetBrains Gateway to connect to your IDE running elsewhere. As we've seen, IntelliJ IDEA helps developers like us stay in the flow. It lets us focus on development, generates common code, and suggests sensible values so we can be thinking about the difficult problems we're solving and not the boilerplate. We can easily run and debug the code, and the fully integrated environment means we don't have to switch out of the IDE to perform any development tasks. Everything can be done from the same tool. We can be happy and truly productive developers. Thanks for watching.